So when you're looking at lake houses, there's a couple elements to consider on a regular basis. Northern exposure, southern exposure, main lake homes, high bank homes, mid bank homes. And there's a reason why everybody enjoys a different location on the lake. In fact, dependent upon the lake house you're in, you may feel like you're in a completely different area of Oregon, or in some cases, it feels like Lake Tahoe. So let's talk about high bank homes for a second. Here's an example of two different ways to get down to your high bank home. We've got a switchback stairway, and then the neighbor has his own tram. And the trams allow you easy access from a high bank right down to the lake into your boathouse. Now the benefits of high bank houses are often the views. Canals are actually a great place when it comes to entertainment for kids because it's a quiet, safe swimming area and uh, offers a different lifestyle than being on the main lake. It's easy access from a canal to the main lake, maybe a five or 10 minute boat ride to get to the main lake. Okay, so we're just heading out on the main lake. And actually, we're in a no wake zone right now, which is, uh, you can see all of these buoys. The whole lake is surrounded by buoys so that people have a safe place to swim within the lake. And so as a boater, you're not allowed to go in within the buoys unless you're actually on your way to someone's home. You do all of your boating out on the main lake. So the lake runs in a counterclockwise manner. There's different ways to access the lake. You could actually own a house that's off the lake but has a boat easement. So if you want access to the lake, you don't necessarily have to have a house on the lake. You can have a house that has a boat easement. Here's an example of a great boat easement that's convenient, literally a couple blocks away from the Country Club District. This is the Forest Hills boat easement. So if you want to get on the lake, whether or not you're going through your easement or you actually have a home on the lake, this is the Lake Corporation. And this is where you get your gas and fuel and this is the one access to put your boat on the lake. If you want to access downtown Lake Oswego, of course you can go by car, but don't forget you can go by boat. Right here we have Stigman's, we have the downtown Lake Oswego movie theater, and a brief walk away, you've got one of the best Saturday markets in all of Portland. We actually have our Cabana Lane. And all of these houses, most of them are actually on stilts and built out over the water. We're just off of Jansen Island. This is actually a private island. The only access is by a private bridge. And here we have one of the more popular areas to come swim. My kids love this spot. Great place to anchor. It's safe, it's quiet. And as you can see, people are taking advantage of the sunshine today. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at lake houses is sun exposure. A lot of people prefer the southern exposure. So here we are actually on the north side of the lake and you get sun all day long. Some people prefer anywhere on the lake. In fact, I don't think there's a bad place to be on this lake that you don't have your own unique view and unique experience.